<clears throat> this is Jack again. Okay, so I'm continuing with the soul. So all your memories was placed into this soul manifestation because your mind consciousness system couldn't handle containing so much memories. All your mind consciousness system could do was handle the subconscious, unconscious and conscious mind. Um, and then when you crossed over, what they could do then was the following. They could basically wipe your entire um, memory. In other words, they wipe you. That you don't remember ever, ever being in the dimensions before. Um, but you, as all that you have been as different mind consciousness system designs in this world in past lives, was placed into the soul construct ball. Why was that done? To keep you programmed, to keep you enslaved, to not have you know who you really are. Because imagine, I'm certain there's much emotional reactions coming through human beings at the moment watching this because you're going, God, so everything I've been, everything I've experienced, everything I've felt, every emotional breakdown I've had, um, Every relationship I have, I have been a lie. My whole life is a lie. Yes, it is. Um, and what would, you, what, what, would you, what, what is, what would you do now? You would go and ask the question, but who am I then? Of course, because it's not asking who designed me, who created me, who manifested me. How does it work? And that's what Anu and them did not want. But in terms of who we are. You know, you'll understand that, that, that we're lost, we've been lost for a moment, really a moment. And in terms of who we are, we're never really actually lost. Um, say lostness in terms of its definition is when you've just not accepted something in existence or someone in existence as you and then you become lost because of the separation thereof and you know that's that's mostly what happened to human beings um, dimensional beings as well the manifestation of lostness which is separation uh, which is not standing in oneness and equality with that which exists as all as one and see the soul construct you can see it's separation. Come on, you know, believing I'm a soul. I'm a soul. I'm a soul. I'm not. That's limited. It's really limited, especially in terms of who you really are. Um, but, you know, anyway, so the soul construct then, as I said, was the placement of just memory systems. Memory systems of who you were as consciousness systems in all your previous lives, placing that little ball, and then you as the being with that little soul ball inside there was mind sweeped when you got to the dimensions. What is mind sweeped is when you get that interdimensional antenna placed in that I have mentioned before, um, that makes you that suppresses you completely. So that circulated that's what existed in all human human beings, dimensional beings. That mind system placement, which the four crystals held in place in the dimensions which resonate a certain frequency, so that you're suppressed and you think you're this mind system with the soul ball in the center of your being. And then you just reincarnate, go through ascension processes, create your own heaven, do whatever you want, as long as you're enslaved, and you was satisfied. Um, yeah, later on, the Syrians and the serpents um, basically moved out. They went into their own business in the galaxies and in the universes, they never had their opportunity to manifest. <laughs> they still played like these power games where, where Anu apparently had the ability to take certain powers from them and things like that. He created such a belief, you know, he was brilliant in that. It's amazing how he could manipulate and how he could um, make someone believe something just through speaking words. It was fantastic. I must say, I was intrigued. Um, though it was, I mean, 
making a race like the Syrians and the serpents believe that they're powerless just through words. I mean, that's quite something. But their systems, everyone has systems. I suppose they didn't even know they were systems. So we've been in a reasonable systematic existence for, for our ends of time. And, you know, it's a big shock. I get it. And I'm certain that many will react to these words and say, no, I'm not pleased. I think, I feel, I experience myself. You don't. It's not. It's pre-programmed consciousness systems inside you that is programmed to feel that, that is programmed to think that, that is programmed to go into this relationship, to have this job, to have that home, to have those children, etc., everything. Um, but before we get to the solution, um, I'm doing solution because it's not a solution, because we don't really have a problem. It's not that it's not a problem, but everything will make sense as we continue. I know it seems like it's impossible, um, but everything is specific. And... Um, so just to be patient for a moment as we continue all your questions will be answered and you know just realize that okay I see I realize that um, I think I, I experience emotions and feelings and because of that I am a system because that's what systems do they're limited they think and experience emotions and feelings and that's what they base their world upon including memories of past experiences and that's your world that's the entire package of who you've become um, though you're not only that okay this is Jack this is all I have for the moment on the soul construct manifestation uh, oh by the way the soul construct entire manifestation have been removed from existence we decided to remove it because it's got no purpose whatsoever and you're not your soul at all it was just freely memories of past life experiences as different mind consciousness system placements in which you use to define who you are and you're not that so we removed the soul construct from existence in one moment okay so you don't have to be concerned about the soul anymore um, or any beings who are still in ascension or attainment or enlightenment processes that is based on the soul um, you're reaching for thin air I'd ask you just one question to really be honest with you as you within you are you really moving you are you really experiencing you or are you subject to the idea that you are worthless uh, not good enough uh, inferior and that you require some form of process to get that which you want to become which you are actually already you just have to realize it Okay, this is Jack. Thank you very much.